Okay, so do you think you could solve this simple math word problem? Well, actually, I think most of you out there should be able to figure this out because uh, even if you only know basic math, that is enough to get the right answer. But uh, let's take a look at the problem, which is the following. The sum of two numbers is 188, and the difference of these numbers is 34. What are the numbers? Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step-by-step step and solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I've been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before we share the answer, let's take one more look at this problem. So we are looking for two numbers. Now the sum of these two numbers is 188. Now this word means the sum, uh, for example, the sum of three and five means three plus five, which of course is eight, right? So the sum means we're going to add up the two numbers. And the difference of these two numbers is 34. Okay, now the difference means subtracting, right? So the difference of five and three is five minus three, which of course is two. That's a terrible three, by the way. Let me write that a little bit better. Okay, so I just wanna make sure you understand the uh, words in this problem because I don't want anyone to not get this right because they forgot what the sum and difference is. All right, now, as I indicated, uh, as long as you know some basic math, you should be able to get the right answer. But uh, let's go and take a look at the correct answer, and it is the following, or the two numbers that we're looking for are 77 and 111. Okay, so that is the answer. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A+, plus. so congratulations on getting the right answer here. Now, how could we figure this out? using basic math, right? So I did say that, you know, you could figure this out using basic math. Well, the sum of two numbers is 188. Now, I didn't indicate uh, when I read the problem for the first time that the answers here are nice integer whole value or whole number type of numbers, right? So we're not talking about two numbers that are decimals or fractions, but you could just test a bunch of numbers, right? So like you look at 188, think of two numbers that add up to 188. So maybe you'll be like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, 188 add up to 188, and that is uh, true. But now we have to see if the difference, if we subtract these two numbers, is going to be 34. Now here, of course, 100 minus 88 is not uh, uh, 34, so we'll have to try some other numbers, right? So we can just kind of go through 1 plus 187. You don't even need to test this number, right? Because the sum of these numbers is 188, 188, but the difference is not going to be 34. So you can just do a bunch of trial and error, and that is one approach to solve this problem. But uh, solving math word problems really all depends upon how much math you know in terms of how you're going to approach the problem. So I kind of like to think of it as like a math toolbox, right? So here is our lovely toolbox. And if you only know basic math, well, you have to just do basic math stuff to try to get the right answer. But I kind of showed you one approach here that you could just use basic math to figure out the right answer, but it, that could take a long time to figure out. But another approach that you could use is algebra. And that's the approach that I'm gonna show you here in this problem. But if you notice, I didn't say solve the algebra word problem because a lot of people just don't like algebra. They're like, algebra word problems, that makes my hair stand up and smoke come out of my ears. Well, uh, it's really not that bad. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so again, if you solve this problem using basic math, that is fantastic. But I wanna show you another technique of IE using algebra to solve the same problem. Okay, so here is our problem. And anytime you're dealing with a math word problem, always use the rule of three, which is kind of my rule. It's basically common sense. Read the problem at least three times before you start doing anything. See, what ends up happening is a lot of people go, uh, you know, they'll read a problem one time. They're like, oh, I know exactly how to solve this problem. And then they'll hurry off in this direction. And then they'll be like, wait a minute, I'm not getting this right. So they'll come back 
read the problem again, they'll be like, oh, I forgot this piece of information. Then they'll go in a different direction and get the right answer. So that's what's going to happen if you just, you know, become very impatient with a problem. So you have to slow down, make sure you understand the, you know, the information in the problem and most importantly, the question here. So we have two numbers. So we're looking for two numbers, right? What are the two numbers? And we know some information about these two numbers. We know that when we add them up, the answer is 188. And when we subtract them, i.e. take the difference, the answer is 34. Okay, so uh, for those of you that know some algebra, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, we can get let a uh, variable represent these two numbers. Well, here's the thing. Okay, we have two unknown values, right? So we want to kind of model this situation. So we want a variable to represent these numbers, right? So now, can we just let the variable x represent uh, these two numbers? Well, no, we have two different numbers, right? So we're going to want to use two different variables like x and y. Okay, so here is a kind of a good little um, uh, concept to keep in mind. So how many unknown values in the problem? That's pretty much going to be equal to the number of variables that you're going to need to use uh, in your algebra equations to solve the problem. So here, you kind of have to ask yourself a question, like, all right, how many unknown values is the problem asking for? Well, we're looking for two numbers, so you want to be thinking in terms of using two variables. Now, depending upon the type of algebra word problem that you're dealing with, sometimes you can represent the other thing that you're looking for in terms of the first variable. In other words, we can just let x equal, um, you know, one number and then express the second number in terms of x. But that's going to be a little bit difficult here because we have two different expressions that we would have to create. In other words, if one number was x, the other number would be what? Well, if the sum of these two numbers is 188, we could be like, well, 188 minus x uh, would have to be the second number, right? So that would make sense. The problem is this expression only works with the sum situation, uh, but not the difference. So we're not going to want to just you know, stick with one variable. We're just going to want to use two variables. Okay, so uh, now that we have two variables here, x and y, what we need to do is uh, what? Well, we need to think about how many equations that we're going to need to solve for these variables. Okay, so we're going to let x equal the first number and y equal the second number. So we're looking for two variables, which brings me to another very important uh, kind of algebraic concept to keep in mind, and that is the following. The number of variables that you're looking for, and in here, we're looking for uh, two variables. We're looking to solve for two variables. Well, that means that we're going to need to set up two equations. Okay, so typically, the number of variables that you're looking to solve for, that's the number of equations that you're going to have to set up. So one algebra equation is not going to be enough. We're going to need two different equations because we have two variables. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this all together right now. So here is our problem, and we know that x is one number and y is the other number. Now, we have to use um, uh, the other information in the problem to set up these two equations. So this should be pretty obvious. So the sum of these two numbers is, anytime you see the word is, that's the equal sign, is 188. And the difference of these two numbers is, okay, which is equal to uh, 34. Okay, so that means that our lovely equations are the following. So x is uh, one number and y is the other. So the sum of two numbers is 188. And the difference of these two numbers is 34. Okay, so we have two equations, two variables. So that means uh, we just have to know how to solve uh, this uh, system of linear equations. Okay, so we're talking about uh, basic first year algebra. So if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, this is where I'm totally lost. Well, if you don't understand how to solve something like this in algebra, no big deal. I'm going to give you some uh, specific suggestions here in just one second. But let's go ahead and take the next step and solve this uh, system of linear equations. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do this, and that is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, there's two words that I have in my vocabulary. That is help, and that is a goal or goals, okay? Now, of course, uh, everybody should have these words, 
or use these words, right? Now, I need your help because I have a goal. Now, my specific goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics, especially on YouTube, but I can't reach my goal unless I get some help, right? And the help I need is to actually get as many people as possible to hit that subscribe button. It's actually pretty easy. And when you do that, you might as well hit that notification bell as well. But uh, it really does tell YouTube to kind of push out my content to as many people as possible. See, as a math teacher, you know, I want to help as many people as I can, right? So if there's someone out there that is struggling in math that might be able to benefit from my instruction, well, I want to reach them. But hopefully you have goals and, uh, you know, and if you do have goals, specifically math goals, well, make sure you're getting the help that you need to be successful in math. And there's probably nothing more important than getting very clear and comprehensive, clear and understandable math instruction. So if you like my teaching style and you really want to learn math from me, check out my uh, full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And we are talking about basic algebra here, right? So I would suggest that most of you check out like my algebra one course. And, uh, and if you're not a math student and you just kind of want to relearn math, check out my math skills rebuilder course uh, here. I teach you basic math, algebra, geometry, and a ton of other stuff. But if you just need help specifically with like systems of equations, et cetera, et cetera, then check out my algebra one course. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get back to the solution to this problem. All right, so x plus y is equal to 188 and x minus y is 34. Now, real quick here, because it's the math teacher in me, I just want to give uh, some of you out there a quick, quick um, basic explanation of what a system is. Now here, the technical description of what we're dealing with is a two variable linear uh, system. This is a two variable linear system. Now a system in algebra is when we have more than one equation, but uh, um, I'm using this word here, linear. Okay, I just wanna really make sure that you understand uh, what I'm saying. So I'm using this word two variable linear system. Now, what is the root word uh, here of linear? Well, it's line, okay? And actually, these two equations represent lines, or we can actually uh, see these equations, you know, visually as a linear equations on an x, y axis. So if I kind of uh, kind of sketch these out, it's a really bad sketch of an x, y plane. And let's say this is one of the equations, and let's say this is the other equation right there. Now, I'm not saying that these uh, two lines represent these two equations. I'm just kind of making a point. So what we're looking for is the intersection point of these two lines, the specific x, y coordinate where these two lines intersect. That is uh, technically the solution to a linear system. But you might be saying, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, what happens if the lines don't intersect? Okay, in other words, what happens if you have one line there and another line that's parallel to it? Well, you might be saying, uh, well, is there a solution? No, there is not. Okay, so sometimes when you have a linear system, there's no guarantee that you're going to actually have um, a solution, okay, because the lines could be parallel, meaning they'll never cross, meaning there, there is not a solution, or one line could actually be on top of the other line, meaning that they have infinite uh, many solutions because they're crossing, uh, you know, infinitely many times. So if you don't understand linear systems, this is a huge topic in basic algebra. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the mechanics right now. So to solve uh, a uh, linear system, you want to use algebraic techniques. Okay, you could actually graph these and look to see where these lines uh, cross. But what we want to do is think in terms of two techniques, two, two algebraic techniques. The first is the substitution method, and the next is the elimination uh, or linear combination method. These are things that you absolutely must know. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one of these techniques, uh, both um, uh, methods you need to understand, but this is not going to be that difficult. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need to do, or we want to think in terms of, is to eliminate one of the variables. We have two variables. I like to just have one equation with one variable. Well, uh, I can actually do this, okay? So I almost lost my train of thought there for a second. So I'm gonna use uh, a technique called the elimination or linear combination method. Now the linear combination method means that I could take one equation, this first equation and the second equation, and kind of 
you know, uh, squish them together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And when I do that, I'm going to create another equation. So we're just going to add down. But there's something that uh, happens here that is awesome. So x plus x gives me 2x plus y plus a negative y uh, is 0. So I eliminate uh, the y's. So the key is when you're solving a two-variable linear system or really any system at that, you want to eliminate a variable. And here, uh, I'm eliminating the y's. Excuse me, here my voice is kind of breaking up. Uh, so we want to eliminate the y's by adding. Right? So positive y minus y is 0. So the y's go away, and we're very happy about that because 188 plus 34 is 222. And now I'm left with this simple one-step equation, one-step linear equation. So 2x is equal to 222. So it's pretty easy to solve for x. All I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 111. All right, so that's what one of the numbers is equal to. And now if we know that the sum is 188 and one number is 111, of course, we could just simply subtract uh, 111 from 188 and get the other number. But uh, let's go back to our system and just kind of talk about the technical way to find the value of the other variable. Okay, so we know that one um, of uh, the variables, uh, what uh, x is equal to specifically, right? So x is equal to 111. So that means to solve for y, all I have to do is either use the first uh, equation or the second equation and substitute in uh, for x, 1, 11, and then solve for y, all right? Or you can just simply, in this case, just subtract 111 from 188. But let's go ahead and follow through with the algebra. So I'm going to use this equation right here, x plus y is equal to 188, and we'll replace the x with 111. So 111 plus y is equal to 188. So all we have to do here is subtract 111 from both sides of the equation to solve for y, which, of course, is 77. Okay, so we could test uh, our uh, answers here, right? So 77 and 11. So the sum of these two numbers is indeed 188, and the difference is 34. Okay, so again, uh, you know, when it comes to solving a math word problem, it all depends upon your skills, right? So the more skills you have, it's like the more tools you have to build you know, like your house, right, or anything else, you know, you're doing some sort of project. If you need, uh, you know, if all, all the tools you have is just a, a screwdriver and a hammer, well, you know what, you can only go so far with that. Well, matter of fact, some of you could probably go pretty far with that, but the more tools you have in your math toolbox, you know, the easier it is uh, uh, to solve various type of problems. And actually, some type of problems are simply going to require you to know algebra. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.